Okay, I'm adding a few pages and showing you different types of buttons on this section. So to add pages quickly, just right click in this pages panel box on the grey somewhere, go to insert pages, choose the number of pages you want and select where you want them to be placed and just click OK. Uh, one in dialogue you don't have to bother with, just click OK. It's just showing that you can drag these pages and move them around elsewhere. Um, you'll notice the transitions missing off these pages so quickly reapply them to all okay if you go back to the pages panel you'll see that we've got the icons assigned now you can add more than one page at a time on this pretty quickly and let's just go place and you can select one hold shift and up or down arrow key to select more than one at a time or control key and click or if you're on the max it's the option key and click so we'll just open them two up and select. Uh, remember you need to align these to the page select and, and like so um, now you've got that done we're going to show you how to do a quick um, contents page so you just select the type tool, drag out a type text box and enter the text in. Uh, you just type it up and hit enter. I've just pasted that in for speed. So once you've got the text you want, you can select off and select back on the type tool. Just so you get this toolbox and you can quickly change it. Okay, to change your colour, um, you have to go to this little type formatting effects text um, button here and just click on that and you can go to swatches um, it might look different to this you can change it in the drop down menu and go to small swatch there so I'll just select white okay and you can move these around using the cursor keys for accuracy as well and to change different parts of text you can highlight them and select on the type tool at the top. So to make these actually jump to a page when they're clicked, highlight the text you want and right click on the highlighted area or it's control click with your single button max and come up with a drop down menu. You're looking for interactive and then new hyperlink and when you've got that it could be set on URL list drop down to the page one and set the page you want it to go to. This could also be set to visible rectangle if you don't want a box around it change it to invisible rectangle which I think looks better and click OK. So you can do the other two pretty quickly there. Interactive new hyperlink. Okay. I'll just um, move this down so you can see the, the menu clear it interactive new hyperlink okay that's quickly created page flips that you can click on and it'll jump to them pages um, we'll show you a bit more advanced with a rollover state you'd have to do these individually of course so it takes a little bit longer so I'll just put in, in here a web link and just change the size of this Bear with us a second. Okay, um, now you've got this one. You might want to resize the box around the text because whatever size the text box is, it will use as a, a sort of clickable area. And if you then right click on this text, you'll come up with a menu again and you got go to interactive and convert to button and it'll jump to this um, panel okay um, you can change your button name there make sure this event is on click and then you can select the action here in the little drop down menu um, because we're doing a web link we'll go to URL and you can type in the address there Uh, just use that as an example. If you click off straight away here, that'll clear that box out in 
to stop you wondering why the button's not working just um, click off uh, so it saves that end and then when you click onto the rollover state it'll stay in position there so now we're on the rollover state we can add um, an effect to this to show that it is a button um, so we'll right click on the text again when you're on the rollover state make sure you are on that one and you can put an effect onto it like you can mess around with a few of these and see what happens um, main ones probably drop shadow and outer glow I'm just gonna go with outer glow at the moment and when you click the preview you'll probably see the color change here it's jumping to a uh, CMYK format because you've put in effects on they can change that back in a second uh, you see how it's put the outer glow on this text as well um, I'll just put this up for greater effect and just click OK um, to change this back to CM oh, from the CMYK mode back to RGB go to edit and transparency blend space and tick the document RGB it will give you a warning when you're exporting this to an SWF at the end anyway. Okay, so that's a um, web link button there. And we'll go on to a different way of doing that, like an underline highlighting tool for a button. Uh, I'll go to the back page. You'll see I've already got the text incorporated on the JPEGs. Um, so to make these like a button, you can put an invisible rectangle over the top and right click on that and make that a button okay make sure it's on click again uh, you can drop down go to first page or to a direct page if you're not wanting that or URL whatever you're after um, so I'll put this to go to first page because it says front cover there and go to the rollover state and we need to then select the direct selection tool which is this white cursor and we can drag the height of the box down to just one line when we've got the one line right click and go to stroke weight and select a stroke weight that's suitable for the font size I'm going with two point there you won't see it because it's black at the moment you can double click on this stroke icon here or select it from your swatches so you see it's um, got the sort of icon on there okay and just click off to show that and you can export this quickly just to see that all these have gone in place I'll just put it as a test at the moment and we've already gone through this on the other uh, tutorial so I'll just that's you got your final um, buttons uh, you can test that incorporate it into the PDF as shown in the first tutorial and see see the differences you'll see that when you roll over some of the buttons on the contents page that the hand doesn't show to show that it is a button when you roll over that when it's in the PDF but on the SWF it, it'll be fine so that's the reason I've showed you these other styles as well so uh, good luck with that and uh, hope it works for you Okay.